Tonight, Portland police looking for the victim of a potential assault that was seen on social media. That man waving the stick. The suspect is arrested, though, in a tense situation in northwest Portland. We sent our Elise Hosta did deeper. And I know, Elise, this is a very complex situation. What did you uncover here? Jeff, it is. They have been investigating this case for weeks now, and Portland police say that they have probable cause to arrest this suspect for this possible assault. And at this point, they say that there was bystanders who made a bad situation worse. On Sunday, police arrested this man, who they believe is seen swinging this wooden pole at another person in this video from July in northwest Portland. They learned that the suspect um, was uh, generating a lot of calls for service in that area, a lot of concerning behavior where he was swinging things at people, threatening people, had pipes and sticks and things like that. Sergeant Kevin Allen says Portland police have tracked around 10 calls that they think are associated with him in the last couple of months. One of the things that we've tried to do over the years is to slow things down, use time as a tactic, use our communication skills. When officers tried to arrest him on Sunday, Sergeant Allen says Banks became hostile, picking up a broken wooden shovel as a weapon. Police spent an hour trying to de-escalate, using friends and his probation officer to talk him down. As this was underway, police say an aggressive crowd of bystanders started to intervene. That created a kind of a challenge for the officers because people were kind of injecting themselves into this call without really understanding the full context of what took place. He says the crowd exacerbated the situation and that they ended up having to tase, pepper spray and launch an impact munition at banks to get him into custody. According to court records, the 53 year old has a lengthy criminal history including prison time, and has been homeless now for the past year and a half. He reports having post-traumatic stress disorder and using drugs. And another thing that's important to mention is that I had the time to talk to his ex-wife and his adult son on the phone today. They actually had made the trip down to Portland today. They, this trip had been planned for quite some time. They intended to get uh, Robert off of the streets and into some housing because he's been homeless. But instead, they spent the day trying to navigate the criminal justice system and find out more information. Uh, they were very shocked and upset to learn about his aggressive and criminal behavior. They had no idea, um, but they gave me some more context. Uh, she told me that they had been divorced for decades and that he ended up getting into prison for about 15 or more years. She says ever since then, he has had trouble reintegrating into society. Jeff.